What up, everybody? I'm back. Um, got some questions I'm going to answer today. Strictly basketball questions I'm going to answer. My boy Rich is behind the camera, ready to roll them off. So let's start it. Uh, toughest defender you've ever had to play against in the NBA and why? Toughest defender, easily Tony Allen. He's just uh, laterally so quick, and he uses his hands well, and he's strong. So he, he, he got around screens pretty easily. He contested my shots pretty well. He made me work for everything, but I figured him out. We had some nice battles. And um, toughest player for you to defend and why? Toughest player for me to defend one-on-one had to be Kobe. Uh, just because the way he made tough shots, you, it's easy to get discouraged when somebody, you play great defense and he still make a tough shot. That was tough to get over as a young player. Um, and just to his footwork and how he, he uh, he made the aggressive players follow him. He was, it was difficult to stay out of foul trouble. Um, what aspect of your game do you still think you need to work on? I just think I need to work on my overall game as far as my skills. I can be better shooting pull-up jump shots going right uh, from the three-point line and from mid-range. Um, I can work on my left hand being a little better ball handling and wise and finishing around the rim. So just like, you know, small details of what I have already, just try to tighten them up a bit. You mentioned that Giannis could one day go down as the greatest, but which other players do you see in the league now that have the potential to be in the same bracket as the Greek Freak? That's tough because he's like, he's a little different. <laughs> um, but you got the bigs, I think, will be really good. Um, and be, Ben Simmons is going to be um, one of those players that will change the game. Carl Anthony Towns being a seven-foot guy that can basically be a three if he wanted to. Porzingis playing well. He's a he's he's seven-foot shooter, shot blocker, can get his shot off on anybody. So it's, the league's in great hands going forward with these young players. Uh, what cities are your favorite to play away games in? Favorite cities in the league um, to play in are Washington, D.C., obviously, because I'm from there. Phoenix has always been a fun city to play in. I had some of my best games there. Um, obviously, Staples Center. It's fun to play in Staples Center, no matter if it's Clippers or Lakers. Uh, that's just to name a few. What rookies uh, besides Jordan Bell have caught your attention this year? Rookies that caught my attention. Um, I like OG Ananobi from Toronto. He played hard. He was, he can shoot it. He rebounds well. He's really he's gonna be really good in the future. Um, man, I mean, I like Lonzo Ball. I like how he's playing the point guard position. Um, Jason Tatum's playing well in Boston. He's he's playing like a seasoned vet. Uh, you got De'Aaron Fox hitting game winners, you know. Ben Simmons, I mean, I don't even know if you want to call him a rookie because he's been around the league for a year already, but this is his first NBA action and he's playing phenomenal basketball. Uh, just to name a few, I mean, there's so many good rookies out there. Um, okay, the last two questions. Um, for you, what one player do you think you most emulated growing up as a kid and you copied your game after? The one player I tried to be like on an everyday basis was Tracy McGrady. I tried to follow his moves. I tried to follow his, uh, you know, just his energy out on the court, how he played, how he reacted to things. I just tried to follow him and and try to, you know, because we had similar body body uh, types. So and being a guy that can shoot at this height, I tried to emulate him as much as I could. And lastly, you have your championship ring. What's your next personal goal for yourself? That's a good question. Um, just want to win more championships. Hopefully we win another one this season. That would be fun. Uh, want to continue to grow on the defensive end, so hopefully I can get a defensive honor. I know I shouldn't be playing for that type of stuff, but it would be cool to be a part of that, you know, top-level defenders in the league. So we got to keep working and Stay locked in on the defensive end. 
and just keep growing my game and see how far I can take it. I mean, that's about it. But defensively, I want to continue to keep being there for my teammates and hopefully help us get the number one defense in the league. That's it. I appreciate all the questions. Thank, thanks a lot. Please subscribe to my page. I appreciate all the love and support always. We continue to bring more and more videos. JaVale McGee Show is coming soon, next episode. So stay tuned for that. And uh, Katie is out. <laughs>